UFC star Conor McGregor was in court after this video surfaced of him storming onto a loading dock at Barclays Center in New York. If we had to take this outside with him, it's all outside. We don't give a bollocks. Your wife is in me DMs, hey baby! Oh, El has broken loose! It's always something with Conor McGregor. He told the judge nothing of this nature. <laughs> Who would believe that at this point? <laughs>
York City. Ha 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 Connor, what's up, my man? Let's do that. Excuse me, Duncan. Let's grab some cash. This is fucking brilliant. I need more. I need more than that. Ah, that's a great. Yes. It's like in the jungle. One king gets old. He starts getting sloppy. He starts stagnating. Then a young gorilla comes up and kills him and takes everything he owns. Beverly? What did you go to do? Can we move the seat? Rory? Let's reconfigure the seat. Okay, let's go with our guys. Yeah, can we put Connor over here maybe? Or over here? I'm so gonna get this video. Okay, for it. I'm gonna get the back of the head. What? 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 Did you enjoy getting your hands on his belt earlier on in the tournament? Whose belt? Or the belt? My belt. Um, yeah, it felt, it felt familiar. Ladies and gentlemen from Dublin, Ireland, Conor McGregor. Connor, what exactly happened there? I heard I slapped him in the back of the head. I didn't slap him in the back of the head. I put my hand on his neck and I bent him over. All right, let's do this. Awesome. Awesome. Grab your belt. Hey, hey, grab it now. Face <laughs> <Thanks>. forward. <laughs> he hasn't want to hold that belt all, all trip. He wants it away from him. Aí eu vou soltar os cachorros também, eu vou falar merda pra cara atrás do outro, meu irmão. Aê, Irlanda. Yeah, I'll smack him in Ireland, yeah. You can go ahead and push that into your ear to your comfort and they will talk to you in just a sec. Aldo's rib is too painful and uh, he will not be fighting. So Chad Mendez now will fight Conor McGregor for the interim belt. So it, it makes sense. They'll fight for the interim title and whenever Jose Aldo is ready, then that fight can happen to unify. Destroy Connor. Chad, you have there's Chad, your numbers be, are so low, be, kid. There's gonna the be numbers uh, are so a lot low. of people tuning in. They ain't chewing it for you, Chad. Let's no. let's call a spade a spade here. We had to do an interview right before uh, my Aldo fight and he's talking about putting balls on on my head and you know just being very unprofessional and uh, you know this is something that you know I made it personal. Listen, what 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 you gonna do? You can't even you can't even pass guard. You're a white belt on the map. What, you get me down, you hold me down? I'll butcher you from the bottom. I'll get back up and I'll butcher you on the feet. <laughs> we'll see. That concludes today's conference. Thank you for your participation. I always do fasted cardio. I like training on an empty stomach because it takes you someplace. That's you're in a different mindset. You're in survival mode almost. You're on the hunt. 
Thank you all for joining us here. I'm excited to be here today for UFC 189. Let's get to the first question. Connor, let me just ask you, you mentioned in the past that you're going to butcher this guy. Explain that to me. Yeah, his facial structure will be rearranged after the fight. Well, I've been ready for this fight since the first time I've seen him fight in the UFC. I mean, we have guys on my team that are tall, long southpaws that can emulate this monkey over here. I'm going to kill this man across from me. He's a little five foot two twerp. You know, when the fight edges closer, the, the face becomes blank. It always is the same. I become colder. So, I see nothing. Okay. So, you going to be all right? Let's see. Hey, I didn't touch you. Bring your nose. Tonight I am going to press forward and I am going to break my opponent down I am going to raise that gold in front of my home country. I have been feeling like the UFC world champion since the day I arrived here. Very few human beings in this world will ever experience anything remotely similar to what's going on inside the mind and the body of Conor McGregor right now. Here we go! Oh, they're smiling and taunting each other. Oh, he, he hurt him hard. He hurt him hard there. Okay, takes number him down. two. McGregor says, let's keep her going. Listen to this place. It's the motherfucking D-O-double-G! Seven, eight. Uh, he brought in a guy to mimic me and the guy that mimicked me put him out of fight with a spin kick that went wild. This is the world champion, Mike Manja. It's, it's an upgrade. But this is another level. I feel absolutely amazing. Sleep and then, then there's only one more sleep. Yeah, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. And there'll be one after that as well. What do you mean? He'll be going to sleep. <laughs> 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 yes. need this. Thank you, sir. Of course. Good, man. Good to see you. What's the job, buddy? My mind is calm, composed. I am prepared and ready to put on the performance of my life. For the stare off, for the stare downs, I wasn't buying into the Zen thing, man. I was ready to fuck it. <laughs> I guess it was real, alright. Quando já falou muitas coisas, então para mim isso tudo ficou no passado. Ele continua sendo palhaço e eu vou entrar lá dentro e vou acabar com ele. Para mim vai ser uma guerra e vou mostrar para ele quem eu sou. Que eu sou o campeão. Eu sempre estou muito motivado, sempre quero, sempre 
sempre dá o meu melhor, sempre eu quero vencer. É cal, primeiro é que pegar é cal. But precision beats power, and timing beats speed. And that's what you saw there. You did it all, sir. Congratulations. I am baby, you did it. Yeah! And now you can go again. And take that leg in the right. I enjoy moving. So it's nice when you can put some food in your belly and go move. Yes, exactly. Trying to get cleaner and smoother. Trying to get a connection with the floor. Connection with the body. Six, five, a lot, a lot of work for this fight. Four, three, two, and one. <laughs> it's nine days to the fight. We just trained for four and a half hours straight there. And I'm still full of energy. Like I was debating what next. You know what I mean? So I don't have to worry about weight. I don't have to worry about nothing. Just keep the body loose, keep the body sharp. And go in and put this man away. Everybody nowadays is like, there's this new movement stuff that Conor is bringing to the table, but that was already around. That's what inspired it to begin with, so. They're acting like he's ahead of the game and jumping ahead of the game. I've already been there, done that, so it's nothing new to us. You might be fooling all these other people, but we ain't fooled by that. Three, four days to the way in and I have a full belly. <laughs> What did you have? The toast? I had the paleo panini chicken. Chicken panini. It's pretty nice. Beautiful. Hey. Beautiful guys. That's enough for today. Nice and light. Not overdoing it. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Good one. How are you, boys? How are you, sir? Nice to meet you, too. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, guys. See you later, guys. Yeah. That wasn't a light session either, was it? Like, well, I mean, for that's a good session, you know. What I mean? You just compare it's an to hour and a half. Sessions, yeah. An hour and a half was yeah. an hour and a half session feels like ten minutes nowadays. Exactly. Another gym session. One. All day walk. Three. All day long walk. Wake up. Five. Six. Train half the day. Yeah. Eat half the day. Oh, yeah. LC. And two. And rings in. Nice. Oh, somehow you got it. Okay, muscle down, muscle down. Get it, lock it up at the top, 
Beautiful. Muscle down. You got it. You passed the hard point. Now, skin the cat. Ayy! Hi. Hi. You got it. <laughs> Haley's doing his thing at the press conference. He's going to try to bust me out and call me a cholo. But that's the background I come from, you know? It's like hardcore where I live. If, if he would came from where I come from, he wouldn't have made it, man. Nobody makes it out of where we come from, and you don't know what I've been doing. I work hard. He talks all this work hard. Seven, no one works hard, hard as me. If he, if he come, came with me, he wouldn't make it halfway through the week. He ain't working with nobody. He ain't working with no black belts. He ain't sparring. Had no, had no legitimate sparring. Has no legitimate trainer. Look at this trainer. It's like this is ridiculous here. You don't have anybody in MMA on a level like this. Yeah. I sign 130 posters every time we show up. First thing. <laughs> So it's my 25th UFC fight. I'm used to this shit. Sign all these posters. Check in, dude. It's like a workout itself. It's been a phenomenal stay. I am. No, I, I enjoy the beach. There's something relaxing about waking up every morning and looking out at the sea and the sky and the sand. It's a good place out here. Ass whooping to ass whooping. Check to check. Another day. It was a nice drive, yeah? In this baby. It's like driving in a sitting room. Breakfast one? <laughs> Breakfast two. Live from Las Vegas, the notorious one joins us via Sky Connor. You know, we, we see you eating here. It's fight week. A little bit different for you. How does that feel? I, I'm just really enjoying my life. It's, it's a good life here at the top. Well, let's talk about that good life, man. I'm a car guy. I love cars. I've seen you rowing in Lamborghinis. I've seen you in Bentleys rolling. <laughs> oh, Two rolls. Where's your mama? Where's... And there's, there's, there's the muscle as well, yeah? Whip out the shoe up. <laughs> <laughs> I hope making can last a little bit and I can show some beautiful movements for the fans and a new form of attack and defense. Look at your lineup. Look at my lineup. You know what I'm saying? I've been fighting top guys in lightweight and welterweight the last nine years. You've been fighting little guys. We got a whole team here. Everybody here is training for war, man. Even like, you know, I'm fighting this weekend, but these guys are all warriors. Represent for me like I represent for them when they're fighting. And uh, good, good backup, good support. I can eat me breakfast in the car, yeah? But all I want is a thank you. Or even a little dance. You're welcome. Even a little welcome. dance. Dance for me, Nate. Dance for me. And don't look me in the eye when you dance. You knocked out midgets. I'm a lion in there and I'm Short gonna eat you people. alive. Your little gazelle friends are gonna be staring through the cage looking at you getting, getting your carcass getting eaten alive. And they can I'll do nothing. Out, all they're fucker. gonna do is say, no training we're never gonna cross all. this river again. Top 10 kickboxers. You don't got, you're playing touch butt with that dork in the park. The ponytail. And I'm the one who ain't got no training partner, I don't think so. You know, Nate is always talking about People don't want to fight him and they're scared to fight him. He's right, like the likes of Pettis and all these people, they are probably running from him, but I've hunted him down. I stalked him like my, like my prey. And now I have him and Saturday night I will eat his carcass in front of his little gazelle friends and they can do absolutely nothing. What are you looking at? I'll strangle you in a heartbeat. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You'll do nothing. You'll do fucking nothing. Fucking slap that motherfucker. What? What are you gonna do? I've seen them three little twerps. You little skinny fool. He's talking about. Your man's a little pussy. Fucking little bitch. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. And your girlfriend. We love her too. <laughs> Careful now. <laughs> 
saying? I've been fighting top guys in lightweight and what's your weight the last nine years. What is that shit? What is that shit? That's some white bad shit, yeah. Seeing some shots. Watching some clips on the internet. I'm playing with some stuff. Another day. My preparation is unmatched. The results speak for themselves. My body is supple, solid, free, like a silverback. Waiting to unleash. How are you feeling? Amazing. I'm going another day. Just had to wake up. Yeah, I love it. You look good, brother. Thank you, brother. Congratulations. Thank you. We're going to take yeah. you upstairs. You almost got your ass whooped, though. Oh, <laughs> you almost got your ass whooped. What's up, my friends? The undisputed featherweight champion of the world, Conor McGregor! Hey, what's up, Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. Touch gloves if you wish. Let's do this. Nate Diaz! Connor McGregor! Fight scheduled for five five minute rounds. Here we go! Nice jab by Nate. Connor's looking, looking for that left hand over the top. Good right hand landed by Diaz. Good left hand by Connor. Nate trying to become the aggressor here, final minute of the first. Takes him down. Nate up against the fence, spins. Good movement by Nate here. Round one in the books. All right, let's show them another round. There we go, full recovery, full recovery. Right. Round two. Connor, a good left by advancing. Connor. Pretty much the whole fight. Connor, Connor pouring it on here. There's that uppercut. Oh, oh, he tagged got him with the good one there. Him. Oh my goodness! Combination. Nice knee to the body by Nate as well. Nate Diaz. Nate turned up. Taking hurting it to him. McGregor here. He caught him again with the right hook. And another left. Oh. And again with the combination. Look out. Look out for the guillotine. The guillotine. He's Connor on top. trying to get out of it. Connor's in serious trouble. Gets oh. the mouth. My goodness. Now he's, he's got, got the back. He's got the out. That's it. He's got the chain. Just shook up the world. How's that feel? Hey, I'm not surprised, motherfuckers. <laughs> what a night, ladies and gentlemen. And we've heard a lot about the changes in your training camp and the way you're approaching it differently this time. Can you talk about how that was developed? It forced us to look at how we were preparing and do what we've been doing from the beginning, you know, focus. I am faster, I am smarter. He is tough, durable, and big. That's it. I'm still gonna put him against that fence and I'm still gonna bust that soft skin up. Trying to get here, get this fight. Just like get away from all these people and go home, you know? Just like, just like I feel pretty much every time. Oh my goodness. Mamma mia, he gotta beat him bad. I swear to God, I gotta be, that's the best, baby. What's on the menu, Josh? Uh, we got some barbecue honey chicken, and now we're doing like meat too. Stuff's real good, man. This is one of my favorites. That's not on the menu. That's never been on the menu before, has it? No. So. I'm fully prepared. I'm prepared for everything he has to give. I'm anticipating him being there for a full distance. I wasn't anticipating him being there after the first round last time, so. He made more excuses about why he got his ass whooped in the first part of the fight than I made it with why I lost the fight. That you're hungry again. Mm. <laughs> 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 this is definitely not what you're doing. This is not what you're doing. This is not what you're doing. Yeah, because.
this will be the last one now before the fight. Seven days out we are. 50 minutes. A specific heart rate and a specific wattage. For endurance it's good because you're not pounding the roads as opposed to run. You know what I mean? You're pounding the roads, not good for the body. He's peeping game, that's all he's doing, man. He's talking a lot of shit and doing the same, but he's been watching me the whole time, you know. After that last fight, he's put PP game and he, he's out doing what, what he should be doing, you know. Trying to do more round. Oh my god, man. I have a mad mix now, huh? Yeah, like, it was real. It was real. Do it again, man. Do it again. Fucking knock him on his ass. Then you got this new guy in the scene, McGregor coming, he's got all the fucking flash sheet right in there, all this bullshit, he's got all this fan base behind him, I'm like, wait, well, you know, good for him, he's doing a good job, but did I think he was going to have any chance of whooping Nathan's ass? Hell no, you know, it's like he's a new guy. State-of-the-art facility, and I brought in my team, people that have been grinding with me day in, day out. People that have been with me since day one, and then also Dylan Danis is also here. Marcelo Garcia, black belt, he's been a phenomenal addition. He's very attack oriented jiu jitsu. And you do, we were to you keep your arm here, and then you were doing this, and you were trying to lock this, you know? So I had yeah, to that made you roll. Yeah, I had to roll because you feel a little bit because yeah. it's around the rock. Yeah. Right, come on. Okay, do it. Okay, okay. you've done this before. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Mm -hmm. Go up the stairs and also, that's brilliant. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Man, Thank that, you. I'm happy with that. Uh, pod slip up, that's a nice little evasive. And that was just about all straight down the pipe. Left or right hand. Left or right hand, right hand lead up Yeah, he finishes with the right hand. Nice. <laughs> Time to fight, fight we. It's time to go, so we're here. And that's about it. That's what's going down. Get ready, get the show on the road. Kicking the bags now. Yeah, four minutes. There you go. He switched now. Left, straight, right. Yeah, that's it there. He's playing six foot three, so he's a big, long motherfucker. Crisp, crisp boxer. What's up, everybody? Thanks for coming today. We appreciate it. Who has the first question? We're starting without him. Yes, start respecting people's time, man. Jesus Christ, it's out. It's kind of. I'm not gonna make it. Nate's a little silly, man. Got got pictures of me up in his garage with him punched me in the face. Like, what the fuck? Who does that? <laughs> Make no mistake, it will be a trilogy fight down the line. It won't be straight away, but we will we will do it three times, 100%. You fucked your whole team, how about that? Fuck your whole team. Little crackhead SS. You'll do nothing. You'll do nothing. You'll do fucking nothing. Not one of you will do nothing. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. That's all right. Hey, 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 the Connor, Connor, don't throw those fucking camp, Connor, Connor. That's a wrap. Get him out of here. I'm going back over here. I'm gonna go back over here. I'm gonna go back over here. Let me talk. Let me talk. What's he getting over here? We have to face off. Let's keep it going, a little fool. Chill. Saturday night is two nights away. Fuck. Ah. When it's time to go, it's time to go. I mean, like you went to say You know, he's ready to go. We're ready to go. You know, think about it. you guys are here to come in and make a scene with a whole clique. I got real gangsters with me. You got these beautiful motherfuckers coming in. We train together every day. He hired all his friends. Like I said, that guy, uh, he, wa he walked in like he was the show, you know, but, but when I left, the show was over, so who's was the show. His big brother called him off the stage and little Nate Jr. went running and that's that's what happened. Any regrets about what happened yesterday? Can you tell us why you left the stage? 
Cause the motherfucker come in with his team like the head honcho your shit. I'm gonna let you know that we got a whole game ready to ride. You know? <laughs> Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. I want you to fight hard, but fight clean. If you want to touch gloves, touch now. Good luck to you both of you. Diaz, the southpaw, in the black trunks. And as I suspected, right away, he's opening up with the leg kicks. And again. Gregor, over and over. Oh, he tagged him. He tagged him. Connor says, get on up. And again with the leg kick. Nate's having a problem with that leg, Mike. Again he does. Good shot to the body by Connor. Good counter. He's tagged him again. Final seconds of the round. One nothing, McGregor. Oh, nice deep breath. We need to change the new ball for you, man. Gonna rinse his spit. Oh, big left. He heard him with that. Get back up. Tag Nineteen him and left. counting with the leg kicks. Oh, he heard him again. Another nasty leg kick by Connor. Obsessed. Every single day. And again. Waiting for tonight. Again with the leg kick. Diaz trying to score here. Nate moving forward. Nate put the pressure. And rocks him. And again. Big combination. Nate Diaz weathered the storm. And now Conor McGregor is in trouble. He goes high with the knee. He tags him again. Things just got real interesting. That's what he did on the training. Rick over. Rick over. Connor is fading radically here. A much diminished fighter in this third round. And again with the leg kick. A hard one. And a good counter left. Connor's moving away here. And Nate's pointing at him. Oh, he's tired. Wow. Nate points at him after he hits him. And Connor countered with the left hand himself. Quick punches to the jaw. Oh! There's the big body shots. McGregor's in big trouble here. Oh, nasty shot to the body. Big trouble for McGregor. These are those last few rounds in the row. Another hard leg kick, he wobbled him with that one, Mike. Again, Nate with the clinch, drops down for the double. Can he get it? No, good defense by Connor. Oh, big shot by Connor. And Diaz returns fire. Connor with a beautiful combination. Oh, beautiful counter by Connor. Slip. Catch his shots, you're dominating the clinch. I was still moving to me. I don't know if that's one. Rinse him out. Nate putting the pressure on him. Connor attempts a flying knee. And Nate just smothers it. Nate drops down for the double. Can he get it? This would be huge. Cannot get it. McGregor Excellent is combination stuck. there by Nate. And Connor moves away from him. Yep. Good combination by Connor. Nate shakes his head. Oh! Big 
big elbow. Connor takes a look up at the clock. Beautiful takedown by Nate Diaz. Wow. What a fight. And win, lose, or draw, that was an incredible performance by both fighters. The notorious Connor McGregor! Give us your thoughts. Surprise, surprise, motherfucker! The king is back! Nice overhooks there. Just more of the same, hard fucking walk. Day in, day out. And we're here in New York nice and early. Two weeks out we can. We're back at it, another day. Since implementing fast, I've got a line up the sparring mm -hmm. partners. If you're a coach out there, you better be ready to get more sparring partners. <laughs> <laughs> Rock and roll. I thought Connor was here training with us today. <laughs> Nobody makes fun of this dude's stupid tattoos. Oh my god. How cool is that? <laughs> Kick it, right, guys. Thank you. That's yeah, enough, guys. That's it. Thank you. Alex. Look at Alex. Spotting it. Boom. Thank you so much. Luck. Thank you. I really lovely. appreciate the support. Lovely to meet you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's so nice to meet you. It was custom made clothes, now I moved up to custom made cars. <laughs> look at look at that boys, look at that. Fucking hell. Fuck's sake. Ah, oh, Billy strutting through the pressure, yeah. When in Rome. <laughs> I have an unhealthy obsession with spending money. But I have a healthy obsession with making it. Nice. The first event in Madison Square Garden and my chance at capturing the second world title. How's that feel? Familiar. Ah, new gloves and everything. <laughs> you always go. Business is good. What? What's this for? Exactly? It's not really my thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, a biker. There's a different energy out here. I don't know what it is, but there's something going on right now. It's, it's a nice feeling. I feel energized by it. So I'm happy, really, really, really happy to be here. This is my first time here. This is fucking real. This is in the actual spot. Yeah. This is the actual spot. Yeah. Fucking hell. <laughs> Connor's late. <laughs> He's coming. Fuck you, Eddie. Fuck you, Eddie. Oh, I'm going. <laughs> I can't fight by myself. Yes, it's your fight. Woo! The king is in town. The chair would have caused me. I run New York City. I'm a fucking pimp. <laughs> Rocking Gucci Mink. And without me, this whole fucking ship sink. I gotta keep Eddie and the pimp off each other. <laughs> I don't want you guys touching each other. It's so good. Oh, that was a hell of a lot of fun. He wasn't there, so he was just there at the bell and just <laughs> <laughs> put on my 
<laughs> this is the fight before the fight. Round two, I just, I, this is going bad for him now. It's all going downhill. <laughs> I come up through your, uh, through your I feel Eddie is easily hit. All you gotta do is look at his face. That boy is ugly. He will be unrecognizable by the end of the contest. Just go look at Nate Diaz. I could care less about the way I look after a fight. I'll win. Come on, Eddie. You've been you've been over in Japan or some shit. You've been fighting bums all your life. You've never been on this stage. You've never been against a guy like me. You're an absolute bum. Look at your face. <laughs> Let's uh, have Eddie go right down to the way in. Guys, everybody outside. Everybody outside. Excuse me. 154.4. The lights went out. Conor McGregor stepped on the scale and knocked everybody's lights out. <laughs> oh, no much. We need your assistance. How are you? This is why I'm late. You have crowds upon crowds of fans screaming at me. Please. Fuck you. Please. Please what? Please what? Please what? Please what? You little gospel bitch. Look at the camera blowing down. You little fucking bitch. What's happening, Madison Square Garden? New York, we made it! <laughs> The notorious Conor McGregor! It's time! Gentlemen, for the UFC lightweight championship, I want you to protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Fight hard, but fight clean. If you want to touch gloves, touch them now. Good luck. Here we go. First time at 155 since 2000. He got tagged. He's home. Can he finish it right here, right now? Alvarez popped back up. Game changer. It is. And again. He hurt him again. He hurt him bad. Connor did it back at home in Ireland. And he delivers another big left. It just seems to be one of those punches that fighters just get shocked by. Looking for a fourth. Front kick to the body by Alvarez, returned by McGregor. Here we go. Pressure, pressure, pressure. And Eddie Alvarez has been there before. Oh, tagged him again. Man. Oh, wow. Look at this. Really? Now they're saying officially. Swing. He got tagged. He two got takedowns. Out. Well, pardon me, knockdowns. That might be the third. Good knee to the body by Connor. Alvarez getting loose, getting better here in this round, though. Oh, he's done. He's done. It is all over. History has been made. Wow. And I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. The double champ does what the fuck he wants. It's been an yes, honor calling your fight, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, you're, you're welcome. Greatest tacticians of any era at 49 and 0. So don't give a f about his record. A fight's a fight. It's the fight that everybody wanted. We're delivering it. It's an honor for me to come over here in the boxing side and showcase my skill to see what's next. I can't tell you exactly what's next, but now something will be next. Habibu de Nivo, когда Китай. Но один чемпион и выйдет не несмотря ни на что, а другой сек. Будет сниматься каждый раз.
seem to line up for a fight with Conor McGregor later this year. Have you had any initial discussions with him? This is obviously a fight that, that is very important to him and, and, and his future. It'd be awesome if Conor was here. Just tell me where, where, and that's it. Why you need come here? Show up like you want to fight or something like this. So today was Ultimate Media Day, and Connor showed up with uh, 20 to 30 goons and uh, stormed the place. The Mac Life guys who were credentialed let them in. The police are looking for him. They're gonna arrest him, and um, unless he turns himself in, uh, his private plane is gonna be grounded. His passport is no good. Um, he's in a lot of trouble. I'm on probation up to my eyeballs in ongoing and incoming civil cases and, and we come here to do this bullshit. Bring the fans here. Here we are. You just wanted a war. Here we fucking are. A little rat, a little weasel, a little hard man in groups. I've met many of them through my years. A man who grows in numbers, but on, a, on his own and when confronted in a similar situation, cowers away. He shit his jocks after, after doing something to a, his own country, man. I am going to truly, truly love putting a bad, bad beating on this little glass jaw rat. Uh, I'm come here for smash this guy. Smash I don't wanna me, talk. mate. I, smash I, me. I don't wanna, I yeah, don't smash me. I can smash you say you. send your lo send location. Here he is, right here in front of you. I'm right in front of you. Did you not see me at the outside the bus? No. Did you not see me right in front of you outside the fucking bus? I showed you my hands. No weapons. Here's my location, you little fool. Right in front of you. Do something about it. Do something about it. Yeah, you'll do nothing. Conor McGregor is going to blank Khabib when you guys meet each other. Stomp on his head as he's unconscious. Now you're up on the real shit, kid. You're with the real dogs now, bro brother, yeah? And you're gonna be smoked October 6th, live on pay-per-view. And I am gonna love every fucking second of it. I hope it's a long night. In Twitter, you remember this? When we talk, you remember this? You bought me t-shirts, you a little fat yeah, listen, black, kid. Black, Don't be talking like 2014. me about Twitter in 2012. No, 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 Twitter's I have a question. Give me an answer. Twitter, who's on well, Twitter, what, What's wrong with you? Ask my bollocks. No, 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 Wait. when I slip your teammates, why you don't send me a message? Uh, ask my if you want to fix ask this, why you don't send me a message? Bollocks. What? You come with 40 ask people you, and, and you think you can if change you something? Got off that, if you would have got off that bus, you'd be dead now. No, okay. You'd be dead and no, be in a cell. You, you have problem with my brother or teammate, something like this, you give him slip, now you have to give answer. Okay, I'm gonna come. He gonna send me, okay, one guy, two guys, ten guys, or alone. Doesn't matter. But why you come with 40 people? When, when, when the person you are looking for showed up, you took a shit on the back of a bus. So shut your fucking mouth. Okay. But why you don't ask your friend, hey, when someone give you slap, you have to give him back. Let's have an argument. If my mate, friend you're afraid of a ever eat slap, I'm gonna ask him, hey, slap. why you you're don't give him back? You have to fight. If you lose, we're gonna come. What, what's, what, what's, what's wrong with him? What's wrong with your team? They everybody eat the same now. One night they everybody eat, eat slave. Hey, you ask your friend why he eat slave. You ask him, you have to ask him. You have to ask him. Go ahead. Sir. Ask these nuts. We don't have to do nothing for nobody. Uh, Floyd Mayweather issued a warning to you saying that Connor doesn't fear anyone. What do you say to Floyd Mayweather? I am the Floyd Mayweather in MMA. Mama, mama. Ma, 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 ma. Shut your mouth, mate. You're a door box. 26 and all, never lose round. And I don't know what this guy talking about. I don't understand what he gonna do 6 October. 
He think whiskey gonna help him? And I've seen this man wobble many times. I've seen his brother sparked unconscious in another promotion. I know he is afraid of a smack. And if you're afraid of a smack off me, a smack will feel like a double barrel shotgun. Shut your mouth, Ali Abdul Aziz, mad terrorist, Ali, Ali, terrorist snitch. Ali. I know a lot about you as well, you mad rat. How's Noah? How's Noah, huh? Yeah, shut your mouth. Never speak about me. Fuck you, fool. Don't come at the king. Sir, he's okay. He's like, I know. Yeah. You know, I went, um, I went around the world in that last one, it was like a circus. I uh, put many of my tools into the toolbox and left them there when I stepped into that boxing ring. I see him as a dead man walking. He shit his jocks like he always does. It's nothing new. I'm gonna go in, smack him hard, rattle his head, and raise that gold once again. You have seen Bennett? What did he call it? Mike Bennett. <laughs> I'm just visualizing positions, situations that may present themselves in the fight and just just enjoying being in my thoughts. Solid team. People here to help me. People who specialize in all disciplines. So I'm very happy with my team. We are well prepared and we are ready. Watch this. Smell his layer. Suckers. <laughs> I go on then, I'll let you back in. stop. <laughs> and still, bro. And still. <laughs> He may have wrestled Dagestani bears, but he has never wrestled an Irish gorilla Conan, and that's what he's about to face on Saturday night. The victorious one is in the building. He's returning to the Octagon on Saturday night. Please give him a warm welcome, the victorious. It's good to be back. It's good to be fucking back. I'm coming for that man's head from the fucking bell. Trust me on that. Saturday night, October 6th. You want to be too too I'm going to bet on you. Connor's not here yet. And Khabib said he's not gonna wait. He wants to start the press conference without him. I no need to wait for nobody. 3 p.m. I beginning. If you guys have questions, let's go. Does it affect you at all dealing with the booze? No, it's okay. They have to they have to uh, support this guy. I'm okay about this. Thank you guys. 15 minutes I'm here. This guy didn't come. This is big disrespect. And see you tomorrow, guys. Have a good night. Don't give a fuck about him or his people. It's another day setting the bar high and knocking it out of the park. I plan on knocking that man's nose straight into the nosebleeds. That's what's gonna happen on Saturday night. Here we go. Me belt on my time, a little late, a little late. It's closing in on fight time. 
You just cook yourself in that fucking sauna, you smelly Dagestani rat. And be there on Friday at that weigh-in. And be there on Saturday at that fucking fight. That's it. Keep this clean. Touch gloves now if you wish to. All right, let's do this. Khabib looking to complete the takedown, and he gets it. Man. Nice pass. Straight to half guard. Let's see where he does it there. Exactly the start that Khabib Nurmagomedov was looking for in round one. He goes back and forth, and that's what's made him the off the best. That right there. Yeah. He's on top of him, full mount. Good scramble by Connor getting his guard back. Oh! Big ground and power. Connor's talking to him. I can't hear what he's saying, but he's getting tagged. Well, that's Khabib talking, and he's, he's not saying nice things. <laughs> oh! Connor's in serious, serious trouble. McGregor forced to just cover up. How many shots can one man take? Nurmagomedov with a huge second round. Drawing on, Connor. Pop the, pop the jab and pull out. Let him fall into the space. Right over foot there. And that's where Connor can use his left. And there's the shot. And that's what his coaches, oh, that's what they were talking stuff about. That one. He stuffed that one. Oh, elbow by Connor. Nice see the body by Connor. Those knees to the body will add up. So are the punches and the kick teeps. Oh, uppercut! Khabib to the body. He doesn't seem to fear the power coming back from McGregor as yet. Fifteen minutes in the books. We head to the championship rounds. Good entry by Nermago Madoff. McGregor trying to use the fence to his advantage. And he gets tripped right down. Again, full mount, back mount. There it is. Nope, it's on the chin. There's the tap. Still undisputed. Look at him. Look at him screaming at the corner. Oh, and no, now Khabib no, no, jumps no, the no, fence. No, 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 no. Whoa! No, no. And he's going right at Dylan Dennis. Mayhem. Oh! oh and now what if Nurmagomedov teammates throws a right hand? Khabib is back inside the octagon back? now. How do we let these people back in here? Why don't we just separate them? I mean, An amazing night of mixed martial arts competition, somewhat marred here late by the fight after the fight. Uh, this is what I believe. If I put this belt on you, everybody's going to start throwing shit into the octagon. He will not talk to Joe Rogan. We will. I mean, he's still throwing things at him. He's going to experience hate. Like he's never experienced in his entire career. What did he say? What did he say? He about said, "Listen, fight? man, I'm, I'm, I'm upset. I don't give a, I don't give a shit about any of that stuff. You know, we don't like each other. Whatever." It happened. He didn't even press charges. You know, 
you know, he doesn't like Habib and the whole deal, but he didn't even press charges against him and his team. He, he doesn't care about that. He cares that he lost the fight. Hello. Sorry, lads. I'm happy to come back and have my comeback fight in the beginning of, of, of my season against Donald. It's an exciting belt. It's a fan-friendly belt. It's a fight that excites me and I look forward to it. It's going to be a good night. And I'm going to shine here on January 18th. I'm going to create magic inside the octagon like I have done many times before. So, you know, there's so much external noise, especially at this level of the game, you know, in, in this life that I've, that I've forged for myself. There's so much external noise that has no knowledge of anything. And it's so constant, so I, I've just developed a skill of just ignoring it completely and just focusing on internal, my internal thoughts. Time! Well done, everybody, well done. Is this, this a live thing, so we got to go now? Or? Yeah, so we're going now because I think it's live. So. Yeah. So, yeah. We're pleased to be joined now by Conor McGregor. Um, I have a lot of love for the Tiger, and I wish both teams well, and I, I can't wait to see the match take place. Thank you. Thank you too. I don't know the difference between the teams, so I was like, I wish them well. <laughs> <laughs> Just rest the body. You could say meditation, yeah? Self-meditation, not like long, but like... <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna raise the beats too much. Uh, you know, I actually look at the man with sh the shots on the bag and the way I was punching. I actually can't even watch that. I'm like, ugh. Yeah, shivers watching the way I was throwing me punches back then. Just wasn't sitting right on them, you know what I mean? Just flung through the air. Now I'm getting into position, sitting here. Jiu-Jitsu guy in the gym, yeah, Jackson Wink, good man, nice to meet you man. Nice to meet you man. Do I look like a Jiu-Jitsu guy or what? Yeah, look at me. How could you tell? Yeah. Let's think of the house this time. I actually like it. I like it. It's very good. I got a mad reaction when the first came out, right? I think when, yeah, when something gets a, a, a crazy reaction, it's job done, right? No matter what. It'd be good to get one of these, definitely, wouldn't it? I should actually get them. I don't have any of the posters, yeah. you know? They don't have me from my team. What? <laughs> so that's what I got. <laughs> yeah. It's not quite a Mystic Mac or even a Clairvoyant Cowboy, but he said he wants a head kick knockout in the fourth round. He wants it, he's not predicting it, so yeah. it's different. I'm not really interested in what he, what he has to say, to be honest. You know, I like Donald, no, no ill will against Donald, but I'm going to put him away and I'm going to put him away smoothly. Love it, brother, love it. There we go. I'm excited to be back and excited to perform on Saturday night. This type, perfect. There you go. Nice. Love it. Is he not? No? Wow. How about that? <laughs> Call and tell the hoodie up. <laughs> it's always a fun time, these press conferences. The fans always enjoy it. It's good to get face to face with the opponent. It's a great part of the game, right? Another part of the McGregor show. The notorious Connor McGregor! He has
has my respect. And, and although there will be blood spilled on January 18th, it will not be bad blood. And for the Mystic Mac prediction, it will be a KO. Oh, man, it's cool to finally uh, get what I deserve, man. It's cool. So uh, thank you, Connor. And you're right. You do bring the biggest paydays. You do bring the biggest eyes. So... Why not have Cowboy Welcome, with Donald. You? Welcome. You've heard it. You've heard that multi-million dollar payday, and I'm delighted for you, bro. Yeah, seriously, truly. Can you fight the big fight? You never make it on the big fight. Well, here's the biggest one. Let's see, huh? I want to fight, man. You know what I mean? I've been training so long for it. Now, usually when you're cutting weight, you don't really feel that. You've got the weight cut first. So this is a little new to me, right? You know what I mean? I've got the weight cut to worry about. Do you find this more pleasurable? I mean, I think in the past, man, you've had the weight of the world on your shoulders as you're you know, creating these rivalries. Is this better? It's still a high intense bout and make no mistake, I'm coming with all my intent and all my, all my skills to put Donald away. I know you're asking me who's next, what's next, and uh, uh, for me, it's me next. I'm just coming back in fresh, ready, prepared, looking to compete. You're gonna see a lot of me. Wait, wait, five seconds, five, four. Hit that buffet after. <laughs> I'm stuffed after this morning's one. <laughs> one seventy. Let's go, Chris. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, Connor. Thank you. Good. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're gonna keep it clean. Touch gloves. Let's do it. Tonight's fight clock is brought to you by Motello. Proof for those with a fighting spirit. Cerrone in blue. Conor McGregor with a couple early shoulder strikes is in green. Oh! He broke his nose with his shoulder. He pointed to his shoulder to show him that he did that. Yeah. Wow. Unbelievable. Boom. And again, he sets it up. Boom. Again, on the nose that time. And again, that one on the eye. Clips him right on the jaw. Yeah, right over the guard, man. The king is back. No doubt about it. Connor McGregor! I knew he wasn't expecting that little level change, little level bang walking into it. So I'm going to party tonight, celebrate, spend time with my family and then get back into gym and train. And any one of these little melty fools can get it. It was an honor to call your fight. Conor McGregor! Right, once again, here we go, Cruiser 075. It's Marty and It's been easy, man. It's smooth. We're almost there. I slept the first leg of the trip. Woke up, Abu Dhabi time in the morning, which I plan on waking up when I get there. I'll be fighting early. So everything's right on track. Good to see you, my friend. How's your family? Great, great. Thanks for asking that great. My wife's gonna come up on the last charter. We're about to go to a five-star jail bubble. So it's all good. 
I've been to zero star jails before, so that's this is nice. <laughs> You know, it's good to be here in Fight Island to see it in the flesh. I got a good look at the Eddie Had Arena as well, checking it all out. So, very excited to be here, very ready. And yeah, let's get it going. You know, just good vibes, good practice, finish off my practice, uh, carry on with the weight, make weight, and then perform. You know, I'm going to come in and show the world something special once again, and I'm very excited for it. Because we've spoken before about being emotionally invested, it, yeah. said, it seemed personal to you the first time around. It was, and it was. I felt like I was fighting everybody. I just cared what everybody said, and now I don't care. Talk to me through the weekend. How does this main event play out? Oh, I'm going to put on a flawless performance here, an absolute clinic. I'm excited all across the board. I'm confident all my skills are on fire at the minute, you know, pinpoint precision, my kicks, my punches, my, my knees, my wrestling, my grappling, my clinch. But there is respect there for sure. Making that walk with a limited scope of fans, does that require an adjustment on your end or is that even maybe something you're looking forward to? A couple of thousand fans from my power, it will still translate, so I'm excited to get in. And to create highlights, that's what it's about, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, everything is belts, money, all of this comes and goes. The highlights live on. This is my 10th UFC main event. That's an exclusive club, by the way, the 10 UFC main events. So I'm excited about that. Last one, champ, you ready? Is this silver for the last one? Hell no. Okay. Go, Platinum. baby, Platinum. go. Platinum. Perfect, my man, high five. High five, champ. Oh yeah. I put in a lot of work throughout this build-up to get myself down to a lightweight frame. There's not an issue with the weight at all. It's not even a weight cut. Yep, yep. You know, I'm right there. And it's been quite seamless. Okay, and just look right at that camera. Oh, yes, oh yeah, I'm feeling it. Good, solid lightweight frame there. Ripped. Powerful. <clears throat> get in there. Ah. We cannot wait. Take it into this arena and take it into this octagon. I can definitely see that switch. Yeah. Oh yeah. kind of wants to, hey Connor, you've done it all, you're so rich, you're richer than Dana over here, just, what are you doing here? I'm like, I'm not, I'm not allowed here, I want to be here, I want to perform for the fans. What does the champ champ do? He does it twice. Okay, I conquered it. Let's conquer it again, you know what I mean? Do it twice, that's what the champ champ does. And I tell you this now, I am coming to put on a masterpiece, so I'm excited about it. Championship weight. Hey, 156. 156, the official weight for Dustin Poirier. Good job, Dustin. You too, man. Thanks, you guys. Man, does it feel good to do this again? Abu Dhabi, what's going on? Welcome to the ceremonial weigh-in for UFC 257. It's gonna be a scrap, bro. I believe 
myself in there, man. Every bit of myself. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, the king has touched down on Fight Island. 155 pounds. The official weight for Conor McGregor. It's time! We've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. Gonna keep it clean. Touch gloves. Let's do it. Ooh. Both guys exchanging quick. I think kicks are very important for Dustin. Trying to get close. And that nice. save down. down. You're on your knee now. Oh! Keep that frame. Man, he does that so well. He throws his entire body into that strikes. Oh. Yeah, that body was a solid, man. Connor. Look at him reaching across and trying to grab the other hand of Conor McGregor. That's not allowing Conor to work with the left hand and keep it nice. close. Back to the center of the octagon, 90 seconds to go Ooh. around. That's not his game, right? He's not a wrestler. So having the wrestler extend the periods of time Both gets tough. Landing at distance there, excuse me, DC. There's a solid calf kick there from Poirier. Nice, nice left Connor check right hook there Dustin from Poirier. And he points at him. Because Dustin Poirier is another great, loves kick. the fight. And both guys really landing well in this Yeah, this round. is a very good round. Back hand up when we're on the way out, yeah? Back hand up when we're on the way out. Yeah. Other than that, keep doing what you're doing. Oh, look at that. Uppercut, the right hand lands flush for Connor. Connor has not checked any of those low calf kicks, man. No, Dustin he keeps has landing them. But he's got to remember, DC, to get back to the boxing, too. He can't just throw that because Connor will get the timing like that. You just can't take him on the end of the punches. No, man. You can't sit out here at this range and play with McGregor. Dustin Poirier has... Oh! oh big left from Poirier. Now a right hand. Oh, it's hurt. Dustin Poirier! Oh, my oh, God! Poirier! Oh, my God! Oh, my God. saw him get more and more confident as the fight went on. I told you! <laughs> That's the last time you're gonna doubt my yeah. husband, I swear to God. Woo. Once Poirier gets comfortable, gets his confidence going, he's one of the baddest men on the planet, yeah, he and is. he is as tough oh. as they come, and he had him hurt. Oh. Dustin the Diamond Poirier! We knew his timing on the counter two was some of the best in the game, but I just don't give a fuck, man. I'm here to win. Lafayette, Louisiana, how about your guy? Ladies and gentlemen, your main event winner, Dustin the Diamond Poirier. If you, if you put in the time in here, you're gonna get cozy in here, and that's it. I just, I have to dust it off and come back, and that's it, and that's what I will do. Thank you for everything, your time. Ladies and gentlemen, how about it, the notorious Conor McGregor. Five four. No, that was not point. That was our point. No, nah, I went out of bounds. Oh, Dang. nice, DP. Boom. We are the champions. Big drama in the desert. Here we go again. Back in the desert, baby. This is where we perform the dust up. Yeah. Hard to beat this Callier tomorrow. Into the desert, baby. The boys in blue, look. Up the boys in blue. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They gotta love it. Let's go, baby. So good to be back here in the USA. Hey! A very hard camp, a lot of hard work. I'd come here, 10 mile cycle, I'd spar two fresh bodies over, over the course of five rounds. I'd go home, I'd rest and I'd train again. You know what I mean? It's three sessions a day. I'm ready to go. It's been all mixed martial arts this one, so I'm excited to showcase it. I'm coming in with, with vicious intent here, murder shots. So I'm gonna whip out all the weapons here and, I, and I'm aware of what 
you know, that panic shot, the panic in his body. It's, I see it all written all over him. I saw it in the first fight when I sparked him. I sent electric bolts through his entire body, from his head to his toes. You can see him rattled in the octagon in the first round and in the second round he was out on his feet. So he knows it as well as I know it, and that's, it's, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a buttering. Fist clenched, ready to break a face. You know, I believe... Right fist down, so there you go, right there, hold that. That my performance to win the second world title was the greatest, single greatest performance in UFC history. Hands raised slightly, yeah, right there, perfect. I'm gonna top that on Saturday night. <laughs> Kicks led to shots that, that hands that opened up shots, boxing that opens up cat. I can't walk like, like a sport. dog in that octagon on Saturday night. Honor, in the build up to the last fight, you were unusually kind to Dustin. Now on fight week, it's the exact opposite. So we're in that switch. Because he got knocked the f out. Not McGregor fast, McGregor sleep. He's supposed that Douglas is what he is. It was a fluke win, and I'm gonna correct it on Saturday night. <laughs> You know what's up. You know what's up. You know what's up. Got me. The buzz is palpable. T-Mobile Arena will be loaded for the first time since March of 2020. 156. 156. The official weight for Dustin Poirier. 156. The official weight 156 pounds for Conor McGregor. Thank you, Conor. And now for the ceremonial weigh-in for UFC 264, here is Joe Rogan. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're gonna have a clean fight. Touch gloves if you wish at this time. Let's do it. Oh, he stung him with that left hand. Oh. oh. Connor's really making him think about that right leg. Oh. 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 Oh, oh. oh he's got a guillotine here. Corey is a back up. He's, he's only got one arm now. Yeah, he's fine now. Corey is fine. McGregor needs to give up on this guillotine and try to get back to his feet now. McGregor needs to try to get back to his feet now. And now Corey is throwing massive elbows on his own. Big ones. Big ones. He's been through so many five-round fights. Big right hand. Huge right hand for Dustin. One of the Look most at that. Look at it's, 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 he actually broke his leg. Yeah, it's bad. Everybody booing, you can kiss my whole asshole. Dustin Poirier, ladies and gentlemen. If we had to take this outside with him, it's all outside. We don't give a bollocks.
Your wife is in me DMs, hey baby. You're looking bitch, you little hoe. Listen, it was a wild fight for as long as it lasted. I'm sure you'll be back, and I'm sure you're gonna want Dustin again, and I'm sure he'll oblige you. To go down as the greatest of all time, you need to put these people away. I'm putting them away in style. I move different, I think different, I speak different. I am a different athlete than these people. This is who I am. I like to look good and whoop ass. It's what I do best. I personally have a vision of myself as the world champion. This is the beginning of the McGregor era.